day two of clearing the old logging road. So yesterday it rained all day long. I mean, it just, it, you couldn't do anything outside. It, it was pretty miserable out. Rainy, windy, yeah, yeah. So I decided to come out today, um, see if I could do a little bit more work on it. Hopefully it wouldn't be too sloppy to get up through here. And I was driving up through the road here and I came across this. Uh, there's water flowing across my little trail here. And it doesn't really surprise me too much because I know that there's little, uh, I don't know what you call them, wet weather springs or whatever that come flowing off the mountain whenever you get a lot of rain. So I kind of gunned it going up that little hill that I got uh, stuck on uh, the last time I was out here and I actually made it all the way up here. So as I was standing up there uh, getting ready to start cutting that brush out of the way where he stopped last time, I could hear the water over here running down through, the, through this little uh, valley in the mountain. I thought, man, I, I gotta go over there and take some, some pictures and video of it. Okay, well, seeing as I've been out here for a couple hours now and I haven't done a lick of work, uh, it's probably about time that I actually start doing something. So far, all I've succeeded is taking a few pictures. And if you couldn't tell, I'm kind of partial to uh, long exposure shots of water. I kind of like those. And getting my backside a little bit wet because I sat where I shouldn't have sat. So <clears throat> now it's time to uh, actually get something done. So I'm not for sure how much farther I'm actually going to be able to take the, uh, the Tahoe up through here because we're starting to get up into the uh, part of the uh, trail where they've cut it into the side of the hill. And you can kind of see through here where it, it comes across and then it goes up the bank. And it's not real wide through here. It's it's big enough that you could get, you know, an ATV or a side by side or something up through here just fine. But it's a bit tight for getting a a full size uh four wheel drive vehicle up through here. So I think this is probably about as far as that thing's gonna go.
So where we're at now is kind of where the uh, the road peters out. Um, and it's kind of interesting, I hadn't noticed this until now, that this is about where um, there's an old fence that runs through here. And it's all down. I mean, it's been decades and decades probably since that this was a usable fence. But I went through, I don't know, last summer, I think, and I actually flagged up where the fence was running through all the different trees back through here and you can see a little bit more over there and then a little more back in there and over there and it runs all the way across the property here and so it's kind of interesting that it this is about where the the road disappears as well and I don't think it runs up any farther up the mountain uh, it just keeps on getting steeper and steeper and steeper that way. And I haven't really seen anywhere where it looks like it turns or kind of goes off this way at all either. Um, I kind of want to look around some at some point and see if I can't see anywhere where it looks like it maybe goes off to the side. But anyway, so this is this is as far as it goes for now.